Hello everyone, my name is Luis Lentinho, this is my friend Giancarlo Bodoni, Italiano. <laughs> and uh, guys, he's a like, world champion brown belt in the, in the no gi, second place on the gi. Okay, he's a very tough guy. And uh, today he's gonna be demonstrating his open guard how to go to the omoplata. Okay, so pay attention to the details, please. All right, guys, so uh, let's start over here playing uh, open guard. Okay. There's a lot of different situations that we can uh, start setting up the, the, the omoplata from, from open guard. Most of the time it comes when the guy's uh, maybe standing in this kind of headquarters position. So let's say I start over here in the Delahiva guard and Linchino starts to make a, a grip on my collar. So this happens a lot. When I'm playing open guard, I want to make sure I always maintain connection with four parts of my body. So I'm either controlling uh, with both my hands and both my feet. Okay, so a lot of times I like to use the collar and sleeve grip. Okay, especially when the guy is, uh, is bigger and has good, uh, good posture, good passing. I like to use this to always be breaking their posture over here. Okay, and as I'm controlling his collar and not his far sleeve, this is when my leg has to start being very active. Okay, so if I leave my foot over here on the hip, it's going to be really easy for Denshino to start stepping over. Okay, and start. Uh, passing me from here, knee slice, he can start going around, okay? So let's say I'm over here playing the Elahiva, my uh, free leg over here needs to come up to the shoulder and I need to keep my knee inside very tight, okay? This is gonna make it harder for him to start circling his hand inside, okay? If he's able to circle, sometimes people are, but I just wanna make sure that I always re-pummel, okay? And bring my, my foot back onto the shoulder, okay? I like to go to the shoulder and not the bicep, okay? When I go to the bicep, I give too much space, it's easy for him to start killing this leg. So I like to make sure that my foot's on the shoulder and I close my knee inside over here, okay? So now, as I close the space over here, let's imagine that Nenchino has a grip on my, uh, on my collar and he's pulling my shoulders off the mat, okay? When the guy pulls my shoulders off the mat, it makes it difficult for me to start extending and creating space, okay? He's gonna be very tight to me. So I like to come with this foot over here, I like to raise my hip up and I just put my heel on the shoulder. Okay, when I put my heel on the shoulder, I'm gonna extend my leg and my arm at the same time to break his grip on my sleeve. Okay, of course, if I break his grip and then I just start coming back to the De La Hiva, he's gonna regrip immediately and then I'm in the same position. Okay, so what I wanna start doing over here is I'm gonna come with my heel, I'm gonna break the grip and I'm gonna take advantage of this split second that his elbow is disconnected from his knee to start hitting the omoplata. So as I broke the grip, it's gonna be easy for me to start manipulating his arm, to his hand to this side of my hip, okay? So once I break his grip over here, I immediately, I use my foot over here to help me raise my hips, okay? And then I shoot my leg up to the armpit, like so. Immediately start to keep my heel very heavy, okay? And my knee turned this way, okay? Once I get over here, I, the first thing I want to do, as soon as I, I, I start locking the omoplata, this hand here is going to start coming to the back, okay? You can control the belt. Sometimes if the belt's too loose, it's going to start moving and sliding, okay? So in this case, it's pretty tight, so the belt, we can hold it, okay? But I don't, I don't like to rely on the belt, so I like to control the back, okay? And then keep my elbow right here, okay? I'm going to start locking the omoplata, and I want to make sure that I keep my legs very heavy on his shoulder, okay? Once I get over here, I keep holding the collar. Okay, so this collar grip is going to be kind of my security. Okay, as I have the collar, it makes it much harder for him to posture up. So if he postures up, he's going to be carrying my weight with him. Okay, if I don't have the collar, a lot of times the guy, if he's strong like the he can posture up easily. All right, so I'm controlling the back and I'm controlling the uh, shoulder over here. Another thing that's important, guys, is to make sure I don't keep my legs too relaxed here. I want to always, same concept as when I'm applying a triangle choke, I want to keep my knees pinched, okay, and my heel facing out. So as I'm here holding and I keep my knees pinched, I have a little bit more control over the shoulder, okay? Now when I'm ready to start coming up, I'm going to start moving my head closer to his legs. I'm going to rock and stretch, okay? I keep my right leg on top of my left, okay? And I lock at the calf so that I can stretch my leg. Make sure that this leg stays very heavy. Okay, once I come over here, my grip was on the back, I start looking for the lapel. Start looking for the lapel, I take my hand to the tricep, to the tricep and I want to pinch my heel over here. 
Pinch my heel, four fingers on the collar, toes on the mat. Don't put your knee down. Keep your toes on the mat, and then I wanna go like I'm gonna tell him a secret. I go to his ear, tell him the secret, and finish the omoplata. If the guy stays with both knees on the floor, if I, if I sit up, I'm able to stretch him and he keeps both knees on the floor, I may be able to finish him. But if the guy's a little bit too flexible, I come right here, I start moving my hips to the side. Okay, bring his hips to the ground, four fingers in the collar, pressure on the neck, toes on the mat, tell him a secret, and then we go. Okay, guys, another setup that I like to use, same thing from the collar and sleeve, but now let's imagine that I'm over here, I'm playing foot on the shoulder, and I close my knee. So I see that Denchino has his elbow to the outside of his knee, okay? This is not a mistake, but if he's not keeping this connection the whole time, he's gonna be at risk. So that's why I like to use the collar. I like to use the collar to keep pushing, keep bringing the guy's posture down. When he's not thinking about the elbow, I shoot my leg, my knee behind the elbow, so I push his leg with my knee, with my hamstring, push it back. When my knee gets behind his elbow, now I bring my knee straight to my chest. As I bring my knee to my chest, I turn his elbow, and then I start passing the leg over. So you see, I, I create the space, and then I use my knee to bump the elbow and turn. So one more time. The first one, I was able to break his grip, and then I got a good space. I used my knee to, or my foot to start raising my hips, and I shoot it through, okay? The second one, his elbow's on the outside of his hip, or his elbow's on the outside of his knee, okay? So I'm gonna shoot my leg back, create the angle, and then I'm gonna bring my knee back to bend his elbow. As I bend his elbow, same concept. I immediately start hitting the back, lock my feet, pinch my knees, and now I'm gonna come to the side, rock, and stretch my leg, okay? Once I sit up, I start looking for the lapel right away. I look for the lapel, my legs are straight, I need to close this gap between his elbow. So I'm gonna control the tricep, and I'm gonna pinch my heel in, okay? Once I lock his heel in place, toes on the floor, keep your knee up, and start controlling the lapel over here. Okay, sit up, tell him a secret, and catch. If he stays on the knees, same thing. And slide, slide, keep your heel very tight, and then back to the same finish. Man, the two key details that I see here on this position, lay down, please. I really like this. Like, like a lot of people have this same guard right here, but I think like those key details that's gonna change your game. Like, like right here. Look, number one is when he. When you lasso right here, yeah, yeah, and then he breaks. So look at he used leg and arm. Okay, he has a lot of connection right here to break my grip. Number two, he's when my elbow right here, look, is when he pressed my knee in. These are huge things. Okay, like like maybe you see like all the videos like people apply on plata from here, but I think those two videos are gonna change a lot. Yeah. Okay, it's very good. Yeah, so I always gotta create space. You, the guy on top always wants to keep his elbows inside, right? So he's doing the right thing. It's not wrong, even if he keeps it on the outside. But he has to be, maintain pressure on my leg, okay? So he always wants to get my knee past my hips so that I don't have leverage to push him. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna keep this distance and I'm gonna stretch just a little bit, enough just to get my knee right behind the elbow and then I hit with my knee. So you see how my knee hits right here and then I'm able to start turning him, okay? So if I try to shoot the omoplata, while his knee's very tight, okay, now, if I sh even though I shoot, it's hard for me to go. I have to think about the legs. So I use my, my body, arm and leg, same thing. I stretch, and then I hit. And then that's when I'm able to start locking and setting it up. This is a very good leverage. Thank you very much, guys. Giancarlo have a, he has a YouTube channel. Okay, I'm gonna put the link below. And uh, if you like, Okay, the video, make sure guys you comment and uh, give me an idea for the next technique. Thank you. Oh, Thank you.